Welcome, Collider fans, to the Walking Dead recap show. What a barn burner we have for you tonight. Literally. This episode was, I mean, yeah, right, literally. Uh, episode 13, season 6, The Same Boat. Basically, Carol and Maggie kicking ass is the subtitle of this episode. So amazing. So much to talk about. So much more with Negan. So much more with the survivors. All the stuff, that, all the saviors going on. We've got so much to explore here. Uh, but let's get to it. I'm John Roca, joined as always by my lovely co hosts. Let's start on the left. Oh, hey guys, what's up? Uh, I'm Quinn Marie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very excited to talk about the episode. Girl power ish. <laughs> and to my right? Girl power, that's right. Uh, <laughs> hey guys, Corey K. I am now Wario because daylight savings time has thrown the evil inside of me. <laughs> <laughs> and on the far right, the wild man. All it, all it takes is a little daylight savings <laughs> to turn cover evil. One hour. All it's it one takes hour. is a Saturday night of getting turned for Quinn to go full Quintimidation factor. <laughs> guys, I'm Josh McCuga. Thanks for joining us here. <laughs> there you go. It's the best. So yeah, you guys know how this works. We break. We talk about what we liked about the show, what we didn't like about the show, and we'll answer some of your Twitter questions a little bit later in the show. Remember, if you want to send us Twitter questions, always... You use the hashtag Collider Walking Dead. Makes it easier for us to find them and answer them and possibly pick yours to be answered on the show. All right. So this show, as, as we mentioned at the top, this episode was balls out awesome. Carol, as uh, we've said, I think on many occasions uh, throughout this recap show, was the ultimate badass and played them like a fiddle mm -hmm. up until she assumed her mantle to start kicking, killing people and kicking some ass in that whole uh, environment, which was great. So let's talk about what we like, what we didn't like. Quinn, do you want to start? Yes. Uh, straight up <laughs> diabolical. Carol always kills it. Um, I, liked, I liked this episode because I was planning on on it being a filler episode we mm -hmm. talked about this i was yeah. planning on when it started it felt a lot like it yeah, yeah i was planning on i actually thought they were going to keep maggie and carol through the end to yeah. the finale mm -hmm. and that was going to be mm -hmm. like the finale because somebody was going to die or something like that so right. the fact that this went so quickly and um moved it along which i feel like the walking dead has been doing lately like all these episodes since we've come back have yeah. been like really fast moving fast paced so i like that a lot um and of course i just you know, it was it was, it was ladies' night. I liked that. <laughs> ladies' totally. getting free. Yeah, seriously. A little so. cool in the gang action. That yeah. is, uh, that's something I, I did like about this episode. I okay. liked, I, and I also liked. Um, I don't know. I mean, it was it was cool. It was it wasn't like it it wasn't like any other episode. Uh, the interactions between the ladies I thought were really cool. Yeah. Like the one with Maggie and we are still trying to find out what her name was. We're saying Michelle. 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 Yeah. yeah. Okay. You're like their interaction. Like, uh, there's a lot of dialogue. There's a lot of like. I feel like when it's the men or whenever whenever it's uh, just like a group like holding another group hostage it's like there's a lot of like physical abuse like nobody was like punching anybody like trying to yeah. get information they were seriously like wanting to talk trying to get in each other's heads so I thought that that was interesting right. it, was, it was a it was a nice break. I mean, there was a lot of ass kicking at the end, but it was at the beginning it was a nice break. So so you said most of the time when it's when it's, when it's male Centric. It's, it's a lot of budding heads, like Rams. It's like yeah, a couple it's like, of Rams. It's like, yeah, yeah. Whoa, 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 when Maggie whoa, whoa. didn't tell her where where their camp right. was, she didn't like get up and like pistol whip her. Yeah, she was just like you know, let's talk about the baby or yeah, whatever. Yeah, so. or do some Rick. Kind of, yeah, uh, what, what you need to tell me? I'm gonna shoot and you. And the guy, yes. the yeah. guy was the one that want like was yeah. the only one that he caused was the, the one. Yeah, initial. And he was the one. Violence. He was the one complaining and whining and moaning and yelling and getting emotional and yep. wanting to punch Carol for sh shooting him in the arm. Yep. So yeah, that's a good point. Is there anything else you liked? Yeah, tons. But I want to hear whatever okay. says. Okay. <laughs> Kari? I mean, I liked this episode a lot, especially towards the end. Um, and yeah, it was kind of nice to see Carol and Maggie have at it. But I'm especially impressed because I never really noticed till this episode how much Maggie has grown. Into yeah. Her yeah. Own, mm -hmm. You know, and she's she's pregnant. And but you forget because she doesn't even act like she's at all in any way like she disabled show. or except whatever, for, except you know? for the, mm -hmm. the bit of morning sickness she had yeah, yeah, that yeah. Was that. Right. which but may or may not have been the fact that she got kicked in the stomach that right. could also have been something. or like hit in the face kind of thing yeah because it wasn't really morning sickness more of just like overall indigestion maybe nausea yeah yeah, yeah and nausea. some nausea. <laughs> nausea and i like how like maggie had her counterpart her like evil counterpart whichever side you want to think about it and then carol had her counterpart yeah. and alicia witt's character polly had exactly the same kind of growth throughout her uh, judging from her backstory as carol mm -hmm. except the only difference is she had no idea that carol was anything yeah. like that so yeah. i mean i just really appreciated this episode it was a really really good one. It's, it's, totally you, well same boat 
right? Yeah. The name of the episode, right. same boat. Mm -hmm. It's like this boat's not big enough for the four of us. Right. Yep. Right. There can only be one Carol and one Maggie, like you said. Mm -hmm. Like there were there, there yeah. evil Oreo. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. The evil <laughs> Oreo. Yeah. Um, it was almost like a dramatic version of what we saw. If you ever watched Seinfeld, when Elaine oh, went to hang out with the Bizarro Next Seinfeld the universe. Crew, right? And you saw it's a Feldman. counterpart <laughs> from across the hall. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So it's but it was like yeah. But Josh, what you were saying? No, I um. There was this this beautiful moment, I think, when uh, Polly starts telling Maggie about her thing, and you could tell that wow. she really hasn't told many people this. Yeah. yeah. And there's there, I know that a lot of us, as we were watching this show, and I know a lot of you out there, when you sent in your Twitter questions, were talking about it, that we like saw Carol almost break down, and we were all thinking it's an act, it's an yeah. act, mm -hmm. it's an act, mm -hmm. which it was to a degree, but to a degree. Right. But there was something it's because if if it wasn't an act, there would have been at the end of that thing, she would have just shot Polly. Yeah. And yep. the other girl. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and it would have been done and done, right? right? But there's something going on in Carol's brain now yeah. that that uh, that was awoken by Polly in this. I, you know what I loved about this episode? And uh, if you guys are out there and, and you've never seen the movie Twelve Angry Men, go and watch mm -hmm. Twelve oh, yeah, Angry Men. Oh yeah, totally. Because I love standalone episodes where mm -hmm. you are locked in one location, mm -hmm. right? That's fascinating. Yeah. <laughs> Josh McCuga is known for not watching anything in black and white and anything pre 1970. Oh. So for him to recommend a I love 1956 <laughs> black and white film about a jury that I directed once upon a time at Florida State University. <laughs> I'm phenomenally, I'm phenomenally oh, impressed. Somebody's yeah. growing. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's not just all our hands. <laughs> um, yeah, I love like uh, Always Sunny, the last Always Sunny in Philadelphia, which is completely different. But they've done, <laughs> they but they've done a lot of Twelve Angry Men episodes yes. that are just standalone oh, okay. pieces in one location. Right. Whether that's for budgetary, but. I think some of the, like the most beautiful writing you can do is limit the location mm -hmm. of where you got to go and limit mm -hmm. the amount of action and buff that dialogue straight to the roof. And if there's one thing like we talked about last week. If there's one thing this show does well, it's females and dialogue. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And they, mm -hmm. they crushed it yep. in this yeah. episode because like you said, it started out, I was like, Ugh, we're going to get filler. Yeah. Um, which sometimes can be good. But then it was only like the first, first act really, like the first commercial yeah. break. Right. And then it was... Poof, Balls yep. to the wall. Mm -hmm. A lot of tension. And yeah. Alicia Witt, I thought was going to be real one note, and she was she was fantastic. Yeah, she was good. She was good. I didn't like the yeah at first because they seemed a little too badass. That the, the, right, they were their plain badass. Was like, eh, yeah. I don't I don't need this, but no, I yeah. did like them. I will I will say though, Carol does say at the end of this episode that she botched shooting that guy initially. She yeah. hesitated, mm -hmm. so she did hesitate before they were even caught. Yeah, and then she hesitated when shooting yeah. Polly as well. So there's something. Weird with her. I think that Maggie's pregnancy is like throwing her off a well, little bit. Well, it's it's that, and it's also what started with Sam, mm -hmm. the death of Sam, Mother. and then the conversation mm -hmm. she had uh, with oh God, I oh, forget the guys, Tobin, yes. on the steps, where he said to her, "All the things that you've done, yeah. you've done these things because you're a mother. I respect right. it." So Carol's been having her old crisis of confidence or a conscience yeah. crisis that Rick has gone through. I mean, Carol is yeah, essentially the female that. Rick, yeah. essentially right. because or, or Rick is the male Carol. Like right. you can just yeah. either way, they're both to me, they're both equally powerful and interchangeable. And have to go on their journeys. The only and, time and this in, has been the progression of her character, and we see here now she played the she played the meek little lamb yeah. to get. In, but then realized herself as it was progressing, especially when Polly started talking about being a secretary, yeah. that there were similarities. Yep. She was getting a window back into who she was before. Well, that's and why she couldn't shoot her, and that's why she had right. to fist her. You know, use her and I'm surprised her. that you, because you're Mr. Symbolism and yeah. Shakespeare, that you didn't pick up on the fact that the entire episode she's holding a rosary, and everybody knows when you pray a rosary, you're praying, praying to the Virgin Mary, right. who is, you know, in... in Mythological, I wouldn't say mythological, but biblical, yeah. uh, Catholicism, <laughs> Christianity, <laughs> so whatever you, however you, religion, I don't want to even yeah. go into that. But, you know, <clears throat> in, in biblical things, the Virgin Mary is the most powerful female. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. Carol's in there using that as a weapon, yeah. literally yeah. and figuratively, yeah. a very, very powerful yeah. symbol. Well, well I had that a... written, but we haven't gotten to what uh, I liked about the show. But yes, we'll, we'll keep going. We'll keep <laughs> Sorry, She's having a crisis of conscience, though. She is. No, yeah. she is what definitely. else did you like about the show, Josh? Um, or did you, Cara, did you finish with what you... Uh, I'm okay. good. Josh, <laughs> I'm, I'm good. Wario's yeah. there. I want to make sure everybody gets I'm there. Good. At the beginning, Wario had a lot... You had a good, a lot of good one-liners up top. I did? Yeah, you were on fire at the beginning. And I think Carol got to you, and you kind of... Yeah, you guys should watch me talk shit. Yeah. <laughs> John, I want to hear what you have yeah. to say. No, no, yeah, yeah, John. All right. Well, we talked about the. Uh, I loved it that we we went right into what happened, mm -hmm. right between them with shooting the one. Once again, we're getting that window into Carol mm -hmm. only shooting him in the arm where Carol would have normally killed him. Mm -hmm. yep. You know, so if what she's talking about later is 
what's going on with her. Yeah. She's having these weird co- where she was always automatic. Mm-hmm. I think Morgan is getting to her. Oh, that's think, a good point. Too, I think yeah. the, I thought the, about that. The back yeah. and forth that they're having yeah. is affecting Carol, and I think that's what the storyline is, or what the story story editors are trying to do with this yeah. uh, second half of the season. And never before exp- has she been writing down how many people she's killed. Right, like, that's never, never been a thing. Yeah. Right. When Polly, and that's what I loved about the character of Polly. Polly was basically her looking in the mirror. Yep. Mm-hmm. You know, because she was this meek woman who was beat up by her husband, yep. and the fact that she was starting to reveal four that. Four girls. Four mm-hmm. girls, right, the whole, she had her own daughter, all yeah. of that, but when she used yeah. the cross as a shiv, in essence, to cut out of there and start doing the things that she was doing, yep. it just lets her know that she's still, will. let you know that she's still willing to go to the real uncomfortable places to survive situations. Right. Yeah. That's That's who she is, but what I loved about this is the opening of the door of the possibility of her going back and going, is this who I want to be? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's so surprising because we've accepted Carol as this badass that, yeah. for so long yeah. that now we're seeing you know, the limits. Yeah. And even Maggie at the end, Maggie was like, I can't do this anymore. Yeah. Like, Because yeah. she's a mom now and she almost yeah. lost her baby in that situation. And there's more to lose here. But they, the, the problem is, yes, I don't want to do this anymore. Yes, I can't do this anymore. You don't have a freaking choice. Yeah, you don't yeah. have a choice. You don't have a choice. Yeah. Well, that's like Carol. Like she hesitates to 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 shoot Polly as soon as she sees Michelle. Like yeah, you know, point blank slash the yeah, yeah. slash the stomach shoots her right in the head yep. without yeah. without any hesitation. I think, so she still has that in her. I right. think the thing is with Michelle, she had no any kind of emotional attachment to Michelle, but with Polly, it was yeah. like. I'm kind of looking yeah. at a younger mi- a mirror. Right. Yeah. Plus, you know? Polly defended her in that situation yeah. when Homie wanted to yeah. Yeah. kill her. Yeah. When he got up, the guy who got shot in the army wanted to kill her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. By the way, how badass was them to set him up to bite? Oh, uh, oh my cigarette, God. Do, 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 cigarette lady. I love that. Yeah, that large, was crazy. Large Marge got bit. Do you guys watch The Leftovers? Do you guys ever watch that show? No. Like that? There's all these the TV woman, show references. Uh, it's too depressing. The, the <laughs> one the, in season one, the woman that plays uh, the the lung cancer dying one with the cigarette we don't know the character's yeah, yeah, name because yeah. IMDb doesn't give us a full list um, <laughs> she, it, very similar character development and she smokes a ton of cigarettes and like yeah. kind of a similar way of dying um, obviously not zombies but uh, I want to kind of what you said about like Rick and Carol being kind of interchangeable yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. there's one moment in this show that Rick um, in the in the group has a moment of I guess empathy or more association when when Carol burns those people yeah uh, um uh, oh, what's the big guy's name? Um, uh, Tyrese. Tyrese. Yeah. It, it was Tyrese's wife and or somebody, <laughs> His right? Girlfriend His or, girlfriend. His yeah. girlfriend. Right? Yeah. yeah. John Roca. Uh, and Obviously. so, um, yeah. And he and he's and he just takes Carol out and they're in that neighborhood thing and he's like, you have to leave. Yeah. 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 Right? Yep. Instead of killing her, which right. he would normally do, as we with just, anyone else, anyone else, like, yeah. he would have yeah. killed him, right? Because. Rick sees a little bit of himself in Carol, and yeah. now we see a little bit of Rick in Carol. But now Carol's trying to retreat. There was this whole give and take of just being a human being yeah. on this show, yeah. mm-hmm. and we haven't. The only person really in Alexandria that's an absolute human being is Morgan. Yeah, because he's not the one shooting first. He's trying to, but they've all had their journeys though, and I right. think I think your overall point is correct, Josh. They've all had their journeys, mm-hmm. which is what we've enjoyed about the show. When yeah. they're the most human, is we have to ask so, our questions of ourselves right. in these situations. What we we do, we can say it like you know theoretically, but when it gets visceral and it gets real gritty and dirty and ugly, we have to ask ourselves as we're watching it: Would we do the same things? Right. When yeah. Carol goes on those killing sprees, they all seem logical to me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But what was great was they had Michelle say to her, say to her like, "You think you're the good guys." you're not the good guys. Yeah. That's a thing that we have, to, we have to explore. And when Polly said that to Carol about her being a, a, a killer or a murderer because her friends killed and murdered, we talked about that last week with them cold killing these yeah. people yep. in their sleep. Yeah. Like, yeah. who is the good guys? Right. Oh, and and I, I think the show is being so great because it's asking you to walk across the walk along those moral lines and decide what would you yeah. do for yourself. So like, are we in the point, right, where we know we're, that the people in Terminus were bad, right? Yeah. We know right. that. Yeah. But now we're at a point where it's like battling clans, right? It's sort yeah. of like Braveheart, where you're just killing people for the fact of killing, I guess, in, in like pockets. Obviously, Scotland's fighting for the freedom, but I'm saying like yeah. you're you're fighting in a, in a world where there's there's such a blurred line between right and wrong because yeah. there is no real consequence. It's yeah. kill or be killed. It's Wild West before the Wild West even was a thing. So where do we sit now? Yeah, yeah. 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 civilization is like pretty much gone. So right. you gotta have a more of a caveman mentality mm-hmm. to survival of the fittest. Right. So you kind of go into just basic needs and instincts. And yeah. 
that's the world they live in. And it's still almost, a sense of community. Yeah. yeah. You have to build yeah. a family, build a community, build some kind of army. If you read, I mean, if you read up anything, because I, I, ever since Revenant and all these movies, I've yeah. read a ton <laughs> of stuff about Native American stuff. Yeah. This is exactly what we did. Yep. Yeah. Of, of what, well, like, the white man came in and just started blazing through these people. And yeah. that's basically what this culture is. Like, we're reverting back to the time when we could have just killed anybody and it was just right. because they were going to kill us, maybe. Yeah, yeah. sure. <laughs> They're yeah. having to re, and I don't know if this is a word at all, but they're almost having to re-colonialize this whole uh, area, this whole land, this whole world, right? Mm -hmm. To figure out who's who's going to be a city state that they can work with, who can right. be fair and equal. Yeah. I, I wanted to ask you too a question, as you know, obviously as the females on the show, how, on this panel, what did you think about seeing this very female-centric episode? Like it was very female-centric. Yeah. As viewers of television, what did you two think? I liked it. I thought it was <laughs> no. I, I did. I thought it was interesting, and I, it's so different because you don't see things like that, and it mm -hmm. kind of makes you stop and think. And you do see vast differences when when it is a male centric uh, scenario happening. Like like I said, yeah, there wasn't a lot of violence. The only violence was uh, with the man in the beginning. Mm -hmm. uh, but at the same time, Carol's a badass. Maggie is definitely a badass. So that headbutt. Yeah, when it comes to like doing what has to be done, they still get it done. Right. You know. Yeah. They're not going to go to violence first, like right away. Right. If they can figure out a way to, to work it out, like they'll do that. But yeah, they were both like did what needs to be done. Yeah. And Carol uh, lighting that room on fire, oh, locking those people oh in at the end. I was just like, oh, 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 oh man, that's how you do and it. Would, yeah. Because those guys were just coming in to yeah. help. They, they they hadn't shot anybody nope. that they you saw. So they were just random extras that just get set on fire. And you're yeah. just like, my lord. She's so smart. Like Carol yeah. is so smart yeah. it, it, it amazes me even though she's a character what I thought was when she lit that cigarette I thought they were going to think like oh the smoking woman <laughs> right, right, right. they must be around here somewhere right. like oh, no gotcha yeah. gasoline what about you call? I mean I, I feel it, it's great that there was you know it was a, a female centric episode but I didn't think of it that way mm -hmm. I wasn't like oh it's two women versus two women I just thought it was two survivors versus two survivors that's, that's just the way i saw it mm -hmm. um but yeah i mean you do have a good point that it did feel like there's a lot more conversation rather than like brute force yeah mm -hmm. um as an instinct yeah but i mean just for me it didn't feel like it was just survival yeah uh, so, um, it wasn't like okay. ladies like talking like man like we're talking right. because it's like no they do what they have to do yeah. Yeah. but they can also try to work things out intelligently yeah but they will kick Yeah, I mean, well. it, didn't, it didn't trigger for me that, okay, there are like two women versus two women. Like, okay, <laughs> these women are gonna be at it. Oh my God, girl power. It wasn't like that. Do you right. know, and, okay. and I've said this for two weeks in a row now, yeah. is that it's, there's a, I feel like on television and even in movies, like it's the difference between like two broke girls and scandal. Like you don't have an in between. <laughs> right? Right? And it's it becomes like a more. caricature, like women empowerment just for the sake of women empowerment, right. not like actually intelligent television yeah. and right. putting female characters in powerful roles, yeah. which is what The Walking Dead has done. Yeah. Like you said, I didn't even look at it. I was like, oh, Carol and Maggie are just badass. Right? That's like all it's I got. Right. right? And, and. And it wasn't like the the only guy that got hurt was the guy and whatever. Like as soon as that guy started opening his mouth, and if you guys watch the show Banshee, he's <laughs> he's a star. He's one of the stars of Banshee. Yeah. And he's awesome in that show. Um, but when he when he opened his mouth, I was like, one of these women better shut him yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this guy yeah. sucks. Because yeah. he did. Like yeah. he, he was. Uh, again, but I think it's also. Terrible. But I think what you make a great point, Josh, yeah. and we should move on as quickly. Like <laughs> uh, this is the the what The Walking Dead has done so well in you know, yeah. both male and female characters give them so much depth so much richness as a character so that when an episode like this happens it doesn't throw us off at all we get excited yeah. to yeah. see what's going to happen what's yeah. going to happen between yeah. these characters because they're so exciting and fun to watch mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and explore yeah uh, it gets you like these these last episodes have moved very fast and i think that the next three episodes are going to move just yeah, as yeah, fast yeah 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 so i'm i'm I mean, nervous well, that's but I'm totally excited. the walking dead pattern is yeah. the set the, the second half of the mid season is always super yeah, intense the it, it makes us go back for the next season yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, sure. all right so let's talk about what we didn't like was there anything we didn't like josh is there anything you didn't like other than the whiny dude i have I, <laughs> from banshee yeah. <laughs> i will say um i thought like midway through the episode i was like ah you know what i don't like is it is that it is going to be a little 12 angry men-ish and that we're not going to see Rick and crew make their way. I thought the, I, I didn't like that at first and now I get it. 
I loved the device that they use of like the first time we heard Rick, I was like, I can't really understand him. Yeah. Like, this is that sucks. Like th- these these walkie talkies blow. And then she's like, they're close because it's clear now. Yeah. I was like, boom, that's why they didn't show Rick. The the ticking clock is yeah. what it was mm-hmm. made what made this episode. Because yeah. this episode was fifty minutes in time and we just saw fifty minutes of a, of an episode. Right, yeah, right, right, right. right, right. So no, I don't think I really didn't like anything. Okay. There's like, nothing that I can think of that I was like, oh this yeah, this is dumb or this is moving too slow or I didn't I didn't like that. Like I liked this episode. I, I it was exciting and mm-hmm. I was entertained the entire time so okay cool. yeah i mean i think you guys listen uh, heard me during watch the mm-hmm. viewing that uh, polly wasn't my favorite character mm-hmm. I, I found her a little uh, frustrating to watch at times oh really did yeah. she redeem herself by the end of the episode yes because she died oh <laughs> Damn. okay so you didn't Howdy. feel you didn't feel alicia redeemed herself <laughs> wow. when she talked about being a secretary and her daughter like that didn't i mean give her that, more depth. that that did give her yes that okay. did give her some kind of dimension and okay. understanding why she is the way she is but Maybe I'm just just so pro Carol. I'm like, don't talk to her like that, yo. Like, you have no idea what she's going through, and yeah. just a lot of the things that came out of her, her mouth or her a lot of her actions just really frustrated me. Um, but I did like that she didn't let the guy kick Carol's ass. That mm-hmm. was that was a positive. Is that that's me being nitpicky? I, I get it that she, that was her character and that was her role. It just wasn't my favorite. Maybe hmm. the only well, little thing I didn't like. Sure, I know I said I didn't. I didn't not like anything. Yeah, <laughs> it was. I wish they would have shown wh- when how Maggie got out and when Michelle left because they were sitting there mm-hmm. like chess in a chess match and she wasn't answering her question. Yeah. Right. So there was and just then, no repercussions. And then for all that? of a sudden, Weird. you know, Carol gets out and Maggie's out too. You right. know what I mean? Like I don't. Well, when Michelle went with uh, with Polly because Polly was. We have to go meet the. The guys but were I remember coming, that, but did, we, did but she then say she something left, on the walkie-talkie, or was there? Yeah, but she, yeah, she was saying because okay. she, she was on those multiple channels. Like everybody oh, noted okay. that she was talking about Alpha, Omega, Charlie, yeah. And, yeah. and Beta channels. Those are all like it's interesting that they're using that kind of military code for their channels, which lets you know how much of an organization Negan has. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, and I love the fact I love this thing. We haven't talked about it yet, but like uh, uh, I am Negan. Like we are all Negan. This whole idea mm-hmm. yeah. that Negan is like it's almost like Spartacus. I am yeah. Spartacus. You know, and it's this whole thing. What does this mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, and even the guy at the end who they end who Rick ends up shooting he's like uh, I'm Negan you, you know yeah. they're, everyone's saying this so this is a, a, a lot of Twitter questions yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah which we'll get to yeah. uh, was, so there's nothing yeah, yeah. nothing okay John uh, uh, I, I would say I agree to a degree with you Kari I felt like uh, Alicia Witt at the beginning was a little bit playing the badass rather than being the badass. Yes, and, that's and, what I, it and is. And I think that's the difference. And I'm not yeah. crit- Alicia Witt's a fantastic actress. She's, she's worked for years, so mm-hmm. she's not listening to what, what the hell I have to say. But like, um, when you see with Carol, what's so great about uh, Miss McBride, the actress who plays her, she is so real when she's a badass even mm-hmm. from the beginning there was not yeah. a, a she's a like a quiet note. badass yes yeah because she know because when you know you're a badass you don't have to show you're mm-hmm. a badass mm-hmm. and i think that's what's so what's interesting about rick rick at times shows he's a badass and then at times he is a badass mm-hmm. because he always struggles with it yeah he always struggles with it whereas carol is and we're just finally now seeing carol struggle with it near the end and i thought alicia Witt a little bit was a little too service but when but you saw her drop in real hardcore when she's talking about her kids talking about being a secretary talking about her boss mm-hmm. and talking about all the people she killed to the point where she's like in the dozens or double figures you know and carol's in double figures yeah carol's now in double figures and that was a great moment for them to connect and Mm -hmm. what you said is so so great quinn like the idea that they are talking about all this stuff it gives you uh, an idea of what is going on inside them yeah so that leads them into these moments because it could very well like um Polly and Michelle, like their story could very well be part of rick's Mm -hmm. we just we just don't know i mean yeah Yeah. it, it does make you question Looking at it from the outside, does Rick's group look like they're the bad guys? Right. Well, probably, right. probably do yeah. to other people. Like, yeah. Like yeah. we're so well, like you know diehard like Rick's group. I am anyway. I'm like <clears throat> they can do no wrong. But it, yeah, I mean they've they've done yeah. some like super savage things. So and that's something it does we mentioned. Think. Yeah, and that's something we mentioned on the show last week where he said it's all hearsay. Yeah. yeah. None of them have had any real interaction with Negan himself. Yeah. And in fact, that whole thing that was brought up where we saw their first interaction with Negan at the beginning of the second half of the season and the motorcycle gang, mm-hmm. they're all the the women who are in of their group are like, Oh, those idiots. Yeah. Those idiots doing they that stupid stuff. Went off on their own or right. did something and like that. that. And Michelle girl, you can tell know. she was blown up. Like that was right. like a little little right. seed that she Her was boyfriend running. or whoever right. was right. blown up, yeah. The Frankie thing is interesting because now the dad is in play. Her dad is in mm-hmm. play for some. And, I, and for those of you who read the comics, we cover the show. We don't yeah. necessarily 100% cover the comics. Yeah. Right. So we see the Frankie tattoo. Maybe that doesn't mean anything, but I feel like it might mean something because if, if her daughter's it. dead, right. like what's his reaction to right. those kinds of things? Yeah. So yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. So uh, anyway, all right. So so no, not really much negatives. I thought yeah. this was a really Solid really strong episode. episode. Yeah. I liked it and it a really lot. like the end was great seeing Rick and all them come in. I just would like to see Maggie and Glenn kiss once. Yeah. Like, is that too much? To they ask? don't got time for that. They're losing I mean, chemistry. I mean, it, <laughs> feels like, it feels like they're almost being like best friends as yeah. opposed to a a marriage that just you survived again. My baby's still inside. You right? made it. That, that should Let's mean hug. Do you want to Let's do dinner? Hands. Like, we haven't yeah. had date night in forever. <laughs> we should do date night. What's date night? The I mean, yeah. but the episode does Spaghetti? end with Rick shooting that guy in the head. Right. Yeah. Again, just to kind of like bring us back on track. Yeah, Two yeah. sick headshots yeah. in this. I, I yeah. will say like every time you see Maggie and Glenn together, you're like, Especially this season, yeah. you're like, oh my god, finally, because yeah. they're never yeah. together. Yeah. Yeah. We just like to see them embrace a little <laughs> yeah. bit. It they're is nice. They're always being separate and brought yeah. back together. Yeah. Separate and brought back together. Yeah. So it's interesting. Oh, and the hug between Daryl and Carol. Yeah. Oh, that, yeah. was, that yeah. was good. That was I like bomb. that. But yeah. she's, yeah, that's, I don't know. I want to see how that plays out. Because I want to see buds. if she's with Daryl or if she's going to be with Tobin. Yeah, they're just BFFs, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know Daryl's got something for her, but it may just be I think it's like a sisterly a BFF thing. thing. I think they have like a sibling for her. That's my opinion. That's fair. I thought that about Rick and Michonne, too, and I was totally wrong. So, I mean, you, you never know. Yeah, I, I have. I'm like at this point in the show where I feel like Daryl's either gay or asexual because he has never had a love interest this entire time. Well, that's what I think. It's Carol. No, we like. There's never oh. been any part of him that has any sort of like you could see love interest. Beth, I there was disagree. Beth, there was like a little Beth bit of Beth like talk when they were sitting on the. Well, although yeah, you do. Beth, s- yeah, Beth. there was Beth talk. Yeah. I'm just saying there, there was, was Beth. Beth talk. Okay, which and and in real life possibly too there was some oh. Beth talk. Ooh, yeah, dang. so it's like, she's actually 24, 25. Yeah, right? of course. <laughs> let's not all get nuts. Yeah. Um. All right. So let's uh, let's answer some Twitter questions now. Remember, like we've said before, or I said before earlier, uh, please include the hashtag. Collider Walk Your Dead, so it can be easier to find for us and pick your question out and have it answered on the show. Makuga, would you like to start? Sure, sure. Okay. Uh, I wanted to say thanks to all of the fans and people that watch the show because there were some really great questions tonight. Um, I, I th- This is the one uh, that I, I guess because I don't read the comic books and maybe sure. some people, but I, uh, this comes from at CMG826 at Colton G. Uh, how many people do you think are in Negan's group? It seems oh. to be larger on the show than in the comics. Hashtag Collider Walking Dead. Thanks, guys, for hashtagging it. Well, there's certain, certainly 30 to 40 less. Yeah. yeah. Whatever number it is, because yeah. Carol and Maggie just it would, it would aced, that iced a few of them. They, that Rick and company killed about 15. At least. And Carol and Maggie killed at least 12. And then the dudes in the motorcycle gang were killed by Abraham and okay, Sasha. So yeah, 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 about 30. I feel, like, I feel like when they went in and killed all those people, that was more than 15. Didn't it seem like they killed it seemed a like lot? It seemed like they killed a lot. Yeah, you yeah. might be right. And I then, yeah, Carol, Carol and them just killed, what, uh, at least 10 to yeah. 15 yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. And this, so, this whole Negan thing kind of seems like a dictatorship, so I feel like there's a lot of numbers, and that makes me nervous. Like the governor's um, play, place, like it's, that many numbers? It's almost like a cult. Yeah, yeah that's I would say maybe not a community, like thing. soldiers. Like yeah. he's running, like, cause the way that they talk with the alpha and all yeah. that, like I feel like it's like he's like making soldiers, like right. making you said, you said I am Spartacus. I, I like compare it to the Fight Club. It's like, oh, you know, at the end yeah. of Fight Club, everywhere they go, that I seems did. like, the, yeah, there's like, there's these, there's got to be these pockets of Neganites. I, yeah. I like to call them Neganites. Neganites. I know yeah. they're saviors, guys. I'm not an idiot. Yeah, Neganites, but, I love that. But I think that, that, uh, there's there because it's too calm right now. We saw the preview for next week. It's yeah. a little too calm. Yep. Negan is coming back full yeah. force. There's, uh, yeah, yeah. There's good. There's a lot more. I love it. it's like Hulk Hogan. Yeah. All the little Neganites get in here. Yeah. Get in. All right. Um, what's the uh, Kari? What's the question? Uh, uh, let's let Quinn go first. Oh, Quinn. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah. okay. Fine, Quinn. Mm-hmm. All right. Sounds good. I want to take her question. <laughs> you won't. Okay. This question is from <laughs> at Emperor Jar Jar, and he asks or she. Oh no, it's Ian. Something. Okay. I got a lot Do of balls th- getting that <laughs> Emperor Twitter Jar Jar. Name. Emperor Jar Jar. We're still gonna kill. <laughs> yeah. Do you think Maggie having a baby, if she lives, is actually good for the group and story? I mean, thank you. If she lives, and if the baby lives. The idea of having a, a new baby is always hope for us in the show, mm-hmm. but they end up always end up being an afterthought. If yeah. That's the, like, yeah, where, where is, is Judith? Judith? We never sh- see Judith. We never hear mm. about Judith. We barely. We, well, sometimes we forget that she's around. Yeah, you know. They put her under a meat blanket at the end of the <laughs> mid-season finale. Well, for I mean, sake. and they he uh, Rick handed Judith off to Carl. Carl oh, yeah. stayed behind. Oh, yeah. Coral hasn't right. been around in a minute. Well, yeah. Right. Well, so the reason these episodes are moving faster. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's recovering. I, there is something about. Uh, the way that that was it Michelle that said about the baby or was it cancer or was it Polly that talked about having the baby being a stupid idea uh, and I think maybe they all Polly said it was, it was stupid okay oh. yeah so uh, there's just something about like the pregnancy thing that that always scares me because now all right the group is already stretched thin enough on food and everything mm-hmm. you're gonna get baby formula or you you know you yeah, gotta yeah, really, like, that's extra treating a baby and then if the baby dies and the whole group goes into this crazy or, thing yeah yeah it's really hard to think about it's I mean okay. 
Yeah. What do you think? I I can't see her having this baby, honestly. Okay. I think it's going to be really sad. I don't know if mm. either of them one or either of them are going to live through the season too. Right. That's another thing yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. a little bit worried about. I think Maggie, if uh, you know, it's possible, it's a possibility that Maggie might die. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, I don't know, man. I, oh God, it, that's tough because I, I'm having a really hard time trying to guess or just trying to figure out like fatalities in the, in the yeah. next couple yeah. of, of episodes. Well, the, the, fatalities. The, the question is, is it actually good for the show mm -hmm. or for the story? And I think it is. I think because it well, offers yeah. it offers more storylines. Right now, because they have something to fight for. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they always have something to fight for, but something yeah. more. Yeah. Right? And I mean, look I, at Carol, though. And new life is new life. Yeah. Right. And new life means hope. Even it, it is the human na nature to hope. Yeah. yeah. You know? And so if, when you have a baby born, it is the possibility that this child might might live in a world that doesn't have it's, this disease or this sure. effect. So it's it's it, it's an, it's a beautiful thing for people watching to see to see Maggie and Glenn have at least come together, at least yeah. have something, yeah. Yeah. you know, the birth of the child. It's like I that movie Children of Men, which is one of the most underrated oh, yeah. movies yes. uh, about, you know, people going barren. It's the same thing. It's like, do yeah. you bring a baby into this world? Yeah. yeah. Or don't you? Yeah. You have to. New life. I, I just hope that if, if the baby makes it or whatever the case, that they have a different formula to the way Judith was born where, you know, the mother dies and then, then mm -hmm. has to get killed. I, I want right. it to be different. Like, me. Who knows? Maybe the baby dies and Maggie has to grieve that. I don't, we don't know what's yeah, going to happen. Possible. Yeah, it's possible. Or um, she has to raise it on her own. Who knows? Or oh, yeah. Glenn has to yeah. raise it. You know? A little into the woods action. Glenn single might have dad. to raise it by himself single without dad. the mom. Yeah, yeah, single dad. I just want a different form. My three dads. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Rick and Daryl <laughs> what's, your, what's the question? Okay, the question is from Michael Lyles. Um, how will tonight's events affect Maggie going forward in the season and dealing with Negan's group? Ooh. Well... Hmm. Yeah, I mean, do you guys see, basically, do you see Maggie becoming, even though she said, that's the thing, like, she was, she was like, Carol, shoot her, shoot, shoot her. Polly, shoot her. Yeah. She was like, you know, trying to get it done, headbutting people, trying and to get out of there, but then at the end when she sees Glenn, she kind of falls apart. She's so. like, I can't do it anymore. I don't know. I don't know about yeah. that. Well, I think surrounding your, uh, the birth of your child, the, the pregnancy with all this death and all this violence and murder and all this kind of jazz, it's like, it, how can it not affect you? I mean, you yeah. know, and yeah, they yeah, say, yeah. I'm not misspeaking here and I don't want to offend anybody, but obviously when you're going through a pregnancy, hormones are higher, lower, it all, it's a varying yeah. thing always. So things that you feel in one moment, you might not feel in the next. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so in that moment, when she's going through to survive, she's like, kill her and kill her and burn them and do all this yeah. kind of jazz. But when she gets out with, in front of her husband, the yeah. man she loves and, and she has an intimate connection with, she said, I, I can't do this anymore. And it's that moment of release yeah. and connection. Well, I'm sure knowing the fact that she has a, a bun in the oven is something to stress about knowing that it's yeah. an apocalyptic world and she has no idea even how to get the kid out yeah. um, oh, yeah. well it makes me wonder too like when when well, we got doctor whatever her name is yeah. <laughs> oh yeah She's dr like, denise yeah. Oh, yeah. When, <laughs> when michelle kind of slashes her stomach i'm wondering if that is um Kind of like foreshadow, foreshadow if Who? some if she's gonna have an issue or if that was uh, just yeah. um something to make carol like you know right, right. get Trigger her Carol's stuff together and, and do what has to be done that, intimidation factor coming I'm, I'm just saying i don't know it makes me yeah. think makes me wonder and i don't and, know and i think negan's group is going to make her have to step up and, and fight for the child and do these things and i think that's what the question's asking is negan what's her connection going to be and how's negan going to affect maggie. her negan's group is going to affect her extremely and, and Maggie in this this whole pregnancy and for a while has really been a pawn. Yeah. Yeah. Whether it's intentional or unintentionally, yeah. like I'm gonna go, I'm doing it. And you're like, you can't do it. You're doing it. Oh, okay. And then you, yeah, it's. Yeah. 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 They sent yeah. her to make the deal with Gregory. Correct. So yeah, right. it's kind of yeah. yeah. Plus she went after she tried to go after Glenn through the swamp zombies, yeah, or the sewer yeah. zombies, yeah. all those sewer zombies. zombies. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I do feel that there's a pattern where when a woman on this show is pregnant or with child, um, suddenly she becomes very, very important to protect yeah. because of that hope. I mean, you witnessed yeah. that with Rick's uh, Rick's wife. Yeah. yeah. So I obviously, Ori. I think that Maggie's going to be playing a very, very, very important role um, yeah. against Negan. Yeah. yeah. Great. That's great. We shall see. Well, thanks everybody for your Twitter questions. You know, we appreciate them like crazy. Once again, Collider Walking Dead hashtag like and, and we'll get them. <laughs> we <laughs> we do. We'll read them uh, next week. You guys uh, are getting some good questions. Yeah. yeah. You really yeah, are. We, and we yeah. appreciate it because it, it gives us a lot to choose from and a lot to talk about. Yeah. Um, all right. That's our show for tonight. Let's go around the table and tell everybody uh, where they can find you. Quinn. Oh, man, guys. Okay. You guys can find me. I'm just kidding. Oh, geez, guys. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Jeez, that was a doozy. Um, you guys can find me on Twitter at Quinn Marie underscore Walking Dead. Woo. 
<laughs> yeah, is it, is it? And to my right. You can follow me right down there at uh, Kaorius, K A O R I O U S, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, twitch.tv if you want to see me stream some games. Dang. And the far right. Um, I would like to, if you guys are into this idea, start a hashtag called the Quintimidation no! Factor. <laughs> That's a um, long hashtag. Yeah, but it can fit in there, guys. Yeah, Think about fit. it. Think, uh, is that two That's ends? all that will fit. <laughs> is that two ends? <laughs> yeah, Qu Quinn with two N, Intimidation Factor. Uh, at Josh McCuga on Twitter and Instagram. <laughs> uh, you guys can see me here on Collider doing the Arrow Recap Show as well and my YouTube channel, Between the Sheets TV. Yeah, uh, follow me as always <laughs> at the Roca says on Twitter and Instagram. You can also see me here as well on the Collider Flash Recap Show, a little bit better than the Green Arrow Recap Show, <laughs> and uh, we can talk about all that kind of jazz and Kari as well on the Flash Recap Show. Uh, thanks so much for watching this week, uh, and we will see you all next week and see what happens with the Saviors. Yeah. <laughs>